And, you know, what are the goals kind of for you guys this spring? Uh, it's very exciting, you know, to return a front four like the one we had last year. You know, our ex expectations are to improve every day and to improve on the, the stats that we achieved last year, you know. Um, our, our sacks and stuff was kind of down. Sacks and TFLs, we weren't, they weren't where we wanted them to be at. And so we're working every day. So next season we can get those totals up and in the long run, it'll help us win more games than we did last year. Joel, and this is Hunter Snow from WBKO. You know, Heldon talked about how the player run practices leading up to spring really kind of helped you get some of those basics down. How have you seen those practices be beneficial? Uh, it's beneficial because, you know, it's less it's less pressure. You know, when the coaches is always, you know, over top of you and stuff like that, there's a lot of pressure to perform and always do things, you know, the right way and uh, do your assignments the right way and stuff. And the player run practices let the players and the leaders on the team lead uh, in each position, lead the individual drills and lead the team stuff. And, you know, it's a more it's a more relaxed environment where you can you can help uh, your fellow teammates out if they have a question about a certain, you know, coverage or blitz or anything you can help them out and um it's just a different way to go about things you know uh, you know coach white um left to go to south carolina to take the position there coach crumb um is elevated to dc and you know you still got coach baker that you're working with i guess with the turnover on the staff and some new faces on the defensive side of things i guess have you noticed anything different um you know early on in practices or was the transition pretty seamless uh, I feel like the transition was pretty seamless, you know. Uh, Co Coach White is a good defensive coordinator. It's obviously why he's at, you know, South Carolina now. And Coach Crum is a good defensive coordinator as well. He's very knowledgeable. He knows the defense. He knows the ins and outs. You know, and he's going to be a great uh, defensive coordinator come, well, this spring and obviously in the fall, stuff like that. But to answer your question, yeah, it was pretty seamless uh, transition. The standards to standard, you know. So it's, we're expected to run to the ball, and uh, create havoc and force turnovers. And uh, Juwan, Coach uh, Coach Baker kind of talked about how each practice he's kind of rotating your y'all's lineups a little bit to where no one's you know comfortable. How does that kind of feed into that just uh, that competition mindset? You know, it's uh, it's kind of like let me think. So like your job's not safe. That's essentially when we first came back from um, from the winter break or whatever and. Coach Helen was telling us that you know, everybody's job's up for grabs in the spring. This is your time, you know, to prove yourself going into the summer and to fall camp and show what you got. And, you know, there's some things that uh, all, all of the DNs do very well. And then there's also some things we need to work on, you know, and the competition brings all that out and uh, helps us execute at a high level and knowing that your job isn't secure. So you must work hard, you know, every day and come with your hard hat on and ready to work. You know, there's a lot of familiar faces like we had already talked about. Um, one of the new guys, Michael Pitts, um, you know, coming from a program like Cincinnati as a grad student, you know, I guess probably a lot of hype for that, um, you know, around the program. You know, I guess what have you seen from him and what's it been like, you know, just working with him so far? Uh, it's It's been a joy, you know, joy to work with uh, my man, Michael, man. You know, he's very twitchy, very fast. He's kind of, he's, he's, he's twitchy and fast like uh, D'Angelo is, you know. And that's something he got something that you can't teach, you know, length and speed and stuff like that. And he'll be able to help us out a lot when, um, in the spring, obviously. And then when we start playing games in the fall. You know, Joan, you're someone who's obviously you've been through a spring you know, uh, spring practices before. But, you know, how have you kind of maybe like stepped up in a le leadership role for those guys that maybe haven't been through a typical spring practice? Uh, you know, I'm I'm not the big rah rah. You know, scream at people, yell, and things like that. I'm more of a lead by example type person. You come and ask me a question about you know anything, whether it's football related or school related or you know life related. Uh, I'll answer it to the best of my ability. You know, I joke with the guys. I'm not I'm big on not taking everything too seriously because you know you only live once, and so and so. But I lead by example on the field. I'm not a big, you know, screaming at people, big hype man, things like that. I, I let my play speak for itself. And I think that's why people follow me.